How's it going everybody? This is S3 Todd again with another game analysis. In this game we have Auburn versus number 17 Mississippi State. Auburn last week was ranked 24th, but after their uh, bad performance against Utah, Utah State, they got knocked out of the top 25. And um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the terrible logos. I'm in a really, really quick rush to make this video. we got to go to church like in 20 minutes. So i got to really hurry up. And um, first of all, I'd like to say Auburn is coming off a terrible performance. Um, they barely beat Utah State 42-38. I knew. I, watching that game, I just knew they were going to come back. It's Auburn. They're, gonna, they're not going to lose to Utah State. There's no way. They always come back at the very end. But, uh. In, looking into that game, um, Barrett Trotter, the quarterback for Auburn, um, my opinion on him is a few years ago, I saw him at the Alabama-Mississippi All-Star game um, for high school recruits. That's the year Alabama had uh, Julio Jones, um, that class, and Alabama was supposed to win by a bunch. And Barrett Trotter started for Alabama, and he threw like four picks, and Alabama ended up losing like 31-3. to so, my opinion since then has been really bad of him, but honestly, he had a really good game against Utah State. He, like, only threw three complete incompletions, but he had a pretty good game. I don't think he threw any interceptions, but Auburn's defense showed that they are very, very weak. They lost a bunch of people. They lost, like, four starters on offensive line, lost Cam Newton, Nick Fairley, most of the defensive uh, line, a bunch of linebackers, almost all the secondary. They're basically all just... It's all basically all new guys. They're very young, very weak, and that showed against Utah State. They got they basically got beat, but the final score didn't show it, which is lucky for Auburn. Um, like I said, the line is very inexperienced. Um, and surprisingly, lastly last week, Michael Dyer, who was so hyped after the national championship game last year, did not have a great game at all. He had like forty rushing yards or fifty rushing yards, something like that. And um. They, he was expected to do a lot better, especially against Utah State. And based on last week's performance, I don't think it's going to be any better this week, especially against a team like Mississippi State, where the defensive line is actually a, a strong point for the defense. And sorry, my dog dog is barking in the background. Um, and Auburn only scored on explosive plays last week, so that's basically how they got really lucky. I wish my dog would shut up. But, um, uh, like, they got a punt return for a touchdown. They... They uh, they got the onside kick and they um, they fed off of that and scored that winning drive. Um, they had that long play after the long run after the catch for that touchdown. I think it was the first touchdown of the game. So honestly, they got kind of lucky in their explosive plays. And if they don't have that this week at Mississippi State, they'll be in big trouble. Um, and like in almost every aspect, they're very very inexperienced. A quarterback, running back. Just about every position, but a player to look out for to have a breakout game is Ontario McCalum. He's probably one of the most explosive players in the team, so I'll be looking out for Ontario McCalum. Um, looking at Mississippi State, last week they played against uh, Memphis at Memphis, I believe it was. They won 59 to 14. Had a great game on offense. Dan Mullen's offense is really coming along, and that's mainly because of the part of Chris Ralph. He's been he played great last week. Um, he had a decent season last year, not great, but another guy to look out for Mississippi State. Uh, Chad Bumpfist, a wide receiver. I'm sad because he should have went to Alabama, but he, at the last second decided to go to Mississippi State. He's a very explosive player, kind of similar to you can compare him to Percy Harvin. A very explosive player, returns kicks, returns punts. Wide receiver will line up um, in the backfield. Uh, just a great player all around. Uh, and even though this game is at Auburn, Mississippi State shouldn't be too worried because they won at Auburn in 07. That's with Sylvester Kruma, um coaching so they shouldn't be too worried about playing at Auburn because they've won there before um a bat uh a negative on Mississippi State's defense is they lost three of their great linebackers uh Pernick McPhee KJ Wright and Chris Rock and Chris White um they do have good depth though even though they lost the three uh, linebackers they should be fine on defense if Utah State can stop the run against Auburn Mississippi State can uh, also, they have a very experienced secondary, which is unlike uh, what Utah State had, and they that's how Auburn got their big plays, is exposing that secondary for Utah State, and they will not do that against Mississippi State, well, should not anyway, but um, if uh, Utah State can stop the run, Mississippi State can stop the run, like I said, um, 
Utah State had a freshman starting at quarterback, and he had success. And they have a freshman. I'm pretty sure Chris Ralph, Ralph will have success playing against Auburn. But uh, that's about it. My prediction for the game is Mississippi State 35, Auburn 24. Um, who knows? It could be a higher game. Uh, actually, some are predicting Auburn to get swacked um, by 30 or more points. But Auburn will not get beat that bad I believe Auburn will always I, they always somehow come back at the very end uh, they won't go without a fight but I do believe Mississippi State wins um, like I said 35 no 38 to 24 um, I guess it's about to get about it um, thanks guys for watching and well time